Artificial intelligence is one of those phrases we've heard about non-stop for the past couple of years. Robots taking over the human race like some Hollywood blockbuster, or maybe something a little bit less dramatic. Maybe AI will replace the human race in both manual and creative jobs, leaving millions of us without any work or any useful talents. Yeah, that doesn't sound much better. A company that goes by the name OpenAI became pretty famous over the past year or two when all you hear people talk about is ChatGPT, which is basically an AI chatbot that uses natural language processing to create human-like dialogue. I actually used to joke with a friend of mine who's a journalist about how useful it is compared to him. Well, well, well. How the turntables... Well, OpenAI recently released Sora, which, to put it simply, turns text into video, and if somehow you've avoided seeing all the viral clips doing the rounds, well, Prepare to have your minds blown. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress and black boots and she carries a black purse. She wears sunglasses and red lipstick. She walks confidently and casually. The street is damp and reflective creating a mirror effect of the colourful lights many pedestrians walk about. Imagine if you didn't know that this was a fake video, there's absolutely no way that you'd spot that it's not real. And if we just forget about the fact that none of what you're seeing here actually exists for a second, imagine the effort you'd have to go to to create a shot like this with actors, locations, cameras that are proficient in low light, and not to mention the security you'd need to stop some idiot dancing about in the background. All this took was a short paragraph of text which is absolutely insane. I'm going to show a bunch of examples throughout this video and ramble on about my views, good and bad about this, but I'd love to see what you guys think in the comments and if there's anything that I say that you either agree or disagree with. So I studied video production and have worked in the industry now for probably 15 years and the speed that technology has advanced, things like cameras, drones, gimbals, especially over the past few years has been pretty mind blowing, but the speed at which AI is advancing is on a completely different level. Let me show you what I mean. So a year ago this AI generated video of Will Smith eating spaghetti came out and other than the fact you can tell it's Will Smith eating spaghetti, it's just so unrealistic that it's funny. Will Smith actually seems to have stopped running around slapping people and refound his funny bone in recent weeks because even this week he's parodied this video on the back of the Sora AI news going viral. The spaghetti AI video could never pass for real life and I think because of that nobody thought about the implications to the video creator industry at the time, especially in the near future. But remember that spaghetti video was just one year ago and look at where we are now. A movie trailer featuring the adventures of a 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, shot on 35mm film, vivid colours. Again this is just one year on from that Will Smith video and you'd have absolutely zero idea that it's not some big budget cinematic release. Now they've 100% picked the best most realistic looking renders to showcase but there are so many of them and the diversity of shots is incredible. Pirate ships battling in a coffee cup. A robot's life in a cyberpunk setting. Golden retrievers playing in the snow. Extreme close-ups of a woman's eye. Drone shots of waves crashing against rugged cliffs. The possibilities of this new functionality seem endless and I think that's the thing that worries me the most being a videographer, but it's not just videographers that are seemingly in trouble. Looking at the Sora trailer, the animations look ridiculously good as well. Animated scene features a close-up of a short fluffy monster kneeling beside a melting red candle. The thing about all of this is I feel personally concerned for our industry and yet there's a small part of me that can't help think about the possibilities of all of this from a, a fan-made content point of view. I mean, just think someone could recreate and rewrite episodes 7, 8, 9 of Star Wars and I don't know, we can all pretend that Admiral Akbar's still absolutely fine. It's a trap! I recently flew a drone around some parts of Yorkshire and while I don't pretend to be the best drone pilot in the world, Sora AI can probably already capture better shots than I did. And the drone style footage in their trailer is the one thing that stood out to me the most personally. I mean, the distance you are from the subject is probably one of the things that makes these shots in particular so believable. But now think about the drone pilot who's had to acquire a drone, a license, the skills to fly the drone professionally. Think about the company that makes the drones. Now think about the person paying for production at a time when budget seems to be at an all time low and wonder whether they're going to pay a human or simply type a few lines of text into something like Sora. On the shot of the dogs for example there's a few issues with the physics of the snow which at times seems to be going slightly in the wrong direction and then you've got more obvious ones like pandas with two legs but again this is just one year on from that Will Smith spaghetti footage so I mean I'm sure they can work these little glitches out pretty soon. And when you consider the number of jobs that's going to be affected by AI video long term, then it's really going to increase how competitive what's left of the industry is, and suddenly someone who's a lot more talented than me 
who would typically be off working on something else would suddenly be pitching for the same work. Stepping away from my own personal worries about the impact of AI video on our industry and imagine the political stage or the world of influencers and celebrities. The potential for deepfake videos to manipulate the public is pretty worrying and the ability to fabricate speeches, interviews or events with complete realism seems almost inevitable with this kind of technology and you'd hope there'd be some sort of laws against certain aspects of AI video. Then again we don't seem to be putting laws in place yet for robots which could physically smash John Jones into pieces so Nobody seems to be all that worried about AI at all. But anyway, what do you guys think? Whatever happens, we'll be keeping an eye on it on the channel and we'll be making more videos about this, so feel free to subscribe while channels like this are still a little bit useful. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.